Everything Will Freeze is an iconic map in the Osu community. It was a map so difficult when it was created that 99% of the map's leaderboard was filled with halftime plays. To new players just starting the game, or variety streamers taking a look at what Osu has to offer, this map attracted them. It seemed impossible to newcomers and veterans of the game alike. This is the story of how this incomprehensibly difficult map was finally slain. Everything Will Freeze, mapped by Ekoro, was ranked on March 24th, 2015. At least, that's when the final version of it was ranked. It had been ranked since early March of 2015, but was disqualified due to some changes that needed to be made. With the hype surrounding it, pretty much everyone in the community was looking at this map, so they were bound to find some small mistakes. It was clear from the get-go that this map would be different than others. At the time of it being ranked, it was the hardest map ever made star-wise, clocking in at 7.65 stars. Keep in mind, this is before the recent speed change to star rating. Nowadays, the map sits comfortably at 8.04 stars. Taking a look at the map's leaderboard in the earliest state we can, in April of 2015, we can see some interesting things. We can see a halftime hard rock score from Index, which dates to the 18th of March, 2015, the day it was qualified, since qualified scores submitted back then. Keep this score in the back of your mind throughout the video. It seemed like the people in the mapping discussion were right all along. There were only halftime scores on the map's leaderboard. Well, except for Doomsday. Let's take a look at this replay to get a sense for how difficult this map is. The song has a lot of polygonal jumps, as well as very stamina-depleting single-tap and burst sections. The key eyes increase in difficulty, becoming more spaced and stamina-intensive as the map goes on. So not only are you increasing in nerves throughout the map, but the difficulty of the map increases respectively to your heart rate, making an FC on this map very challenging. Doomsday at the time was known for Nomad's dream maps and having quite good speed and stamina. He had a very respectable image material pass and was generally considered to be the perfect fit for a Nomad pass. Dust Dice also had a Nomad pass on this map, but it was before the map was ranked, so for the sake of this video we'll ignore it for now, but it's important to mention. Anyways, as of April 23rd, Doomsday's pass was 45th on the map's leaderboards. By April 26th, it was 47th, and by April 30th, that play was gone. But Doomsday wasn't gone from the leaderboard. He was just up here. This was a monstrous score from the time, and it even sniped some halftime FCs. It just goes to show how much of a legend Doomsday is in the community. Unfortunately, no one ever recorded this replay. People were more interested in what he was doing to the lower diff of this map. There we go, lads. Not bad. This was also the last run Doomsday would ever have on the top diff of Everything Will Freeze. However, the community ignored a big majority of the player base that might be able to get passes on this map. DT players. Playing double time in 2015 is very different than playing double time today. There were a lot less DT specific maps back then, maps with pretty much exclusively 1 4th rhythms, meaning players wishing to gain PP from DT had to be pretty fast. One of such players is Rathis. Rathis is a very well known DT player, known for setting incredible DT scores on pretty much any kind of map and having very good speed. In July of 2015, he put that speed to use and played Everything Will Freeze and he got this run. This was a very special run for many reasons. It was the first time in the map's history that a non-halftime score was number one on the map. But more than that, look at the replay itself. He got a slider break at around 1000 combo. At the break, he still had an S rank and 99% accuracy. At a time where only two other people had Nomad passes on the leaderboard, being Doomsday and more recently, Dustis. And he held this S rank until 12 seconds before the map was over. Yes, that's the hardest part of the map, sure, but he had an S rank for the majority of the map. This play really was incredible, and it put an idea in people's minds that maybe, just maybe, this map would be FC'd one day. But while this play was good, it wasn't perfect. He didn't have the stamina required to complete the map just yet, and an FC from him was still a ways away. However, until this point, people have been neglecting a key figure in the Osu story. A legend in the community, widely considered to be the best player of all time, Cookie Z. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure what Cookie Z was up to from 2013 to summer of 2015, but what I do know is that Cookie Z wanted a score on everything Wolf Freeze. He wanted it 
bad. Even though he was restricted, he was still pouring in attempt after attempt into this map live on stream. He was so determined to get a score on this map, in fact, that chat would constantly spam for him to take a break and rest, risking him doing damage to his hand. I mean, that's all well and good that he's playing, but how good could Cookie Z really have been? I mean, he was gone for two years. Surely HVIC and Rathis had surpassed him at this point, right? He didn't quite have the accuracy, but to his credit, he spent a year and a half taking a break. But look at his combo. It blew Raphis out of the water. Luckily for Raphis, Cookie Z was still banned. And come November of 2015, Raphis would still have number one on Everything Will Freeze. Until Cookie Z finally got unbanned on November 25th, 2015. And the day after he got unbanned, he did this. The curse was over. Someone had finally... If it's not yet clear how impressive this score is, let me try and put it into perspective for you. Cookie Z had spent the last two years being restricted, and thought to have stopped playing the game entirely to the community. Rathis, who had been actively playing since 2013, who the community had thought to have taken Cookie Z's position in terms of speed, was just annihilated by Cookie Z the day after he got unbanned. If that isn't complete and utter dominance, I don't know what is. Three days later, Cookie Z would be on an even better run. He had 98.9% .9 accuracy going into the 1700 combo disc spike, but unfortunately he would fail on one of the hardest streets of the map at around 1800 combo. The next time we'd be seeing an Everything Will Freeze run from Cookie Z would be around a week later, and it would be something. This run is inhuman. His accuracy at 1300 combo is higher than anyone's accuracy on the map's leaderboards today. Cookie Z's consistency on this map raised some serious questions. Would this map be FC'd? Did Cookie Z really have what it takes to FC it? Did he have the stamina, the speed, and the nerve control to hit the diff spike? Well, later on in the stream, Cookie Z would set a score on a different map that seemed to put people's minds at ease when it came to his chances of FCing Everything Will Freeze. What image material lacked in difficult jumps, it made up for in spades with its 260 BPM death streams, 20 BPM higher than what can be found in Everything Will Freeze. If anyone could do Everything Will Freeze, it would be Cookie Z. Again, in the same stream, Cookie Z would attempt Everything Will Freeze, although this run was not as impressive as the run from earlier that stream. His combo was worse and his act was only better by 0.01%. Indeed, it wasn't as impressive. It was, by far, more impressive. He held an SS until 1200 combo in the map. Rafis' previous run, the number 2 score on the leaderboards, only FC'd until 1000 combo. At 1700 combo, at the start of the third and final KI, Cookie Z had 99.69% accuracy. If he held that accuracy and FC'd, it would be the highest accuracy no one FC on the leaderboards to this day, 5 years later. It's fair to say that an FC on this map was anticipated, and it would be done by none other than Cookie Z. A month went by without any notable progress on the map from Cookie Z. On January 8th, though, Cookie Z had another run going, although this time it was much less exciting. The combo was there, sure, but he got to 1500 combo several times in the past, and with much better accuracy. Although this time, his cursor wasn't shaking nearly as much. He knew very well his accuracy was below his expectation, which caused him to relax a bit, and that allowed him to do this.
If you want to know how ahead of its time this FC is, the second place position on the map's leaderboards is still Rathus's 1000 combo run from July of 2015, and the third place position still indexes day one halftime Hard Rock FC. I mean, Rathus's score is in its own right completely dominant, but Cookie Z is just on another level. So the question then started to be raised, who would be the second person to FC this map? There were a few contestants for the position. You had HVIC225, who as I previously mentioned is one of the best DT players of all time. Just before Cookie Z's FC, he got an 1800 combo choke, similar to the one from Cookie Z not long after his unban. Then you had Gaze McGee, whose Nomad 1000 combo run was 5th on the map's leaderboards, only falling below the halftime plus modded scores, but sniping every halftime only score. Well, before we get into who finally dethroned Cookie Z, let's take a look at one last instance of Cookie Z's dominance. His hidden hard rock run. He reverse choked, getting two misses on the exact same relatively easy stream, and he FC'd the rest of the map, including the hard parts at 1700 combo, and he even sniped his own accuracy. This score was done just under a year after his FC, and in that time, the top three positions on the map leaderboards were exactly the same. Cookie Z's FC as number one, Rafis' 1000 combo run as number two, and Index's day one halftime hard rock score at number three. And this hidden hard rock score from Cookie Z sniped Rafis' score. It would have been number two on the map's leaderboards, and if he FC'd with that accuracy, it would be worth 1000 PP today. This score was set when the PP record was his own Freedom Dive Hard Rock 800 PP play. He almost skipped 900 PP with this score, at least by today's PP metric. Anyways, back to the second FC. The person to finally do it, after almost two years of Cookie Z's dominance on the map, was none other than Rathis himself. Here we go, FC. <sighs> it took a whole two years before anyone was able to match Cookie Z's FC, which just goes to show, again, how utterly ahead of its time that play was. When Rafis got that score, Index's day one halftime hard rock score was number five on the leaderboards, after almost three years. In between Cookie Z's hard rock score and Rafis' FC, two other people had filled the number three and number four spot on the map's leaderboards. Arnold 24x24, 24 24, a speed player before it was cool, similar to Gaze McGee, got a B rank hidden 1305 combo run, and Ekaro, the map's creator, got a 1,800 combo easy run. In almost poetic fashion, two months after his Everything Will Freeze FC, Rafis FC'd Necro Fantasia, dethroning Cookie Z of not only his Everything Will Freeze number one, but also his global number one. Since Rafis' FC, things started to speed up a bit for the map. Ryuk, a Canadian legend who needs no introduction, FC'd it a year later, in October of 2018, getting 99.45% accuracy. Not only was this the highest ACK Nomad play, it still is. And not only that, it's still the only 99% plus accuracy Nomad FC on the map, period. Since Rafis and Ryuk, many other people have FC'd. Them being Abraham R, Rectagon, Varvalian, Demonical, Ethics, and Idki. Of these six players, only two of them have had better accuracy than Cookie Z, them being Rectagon and Varvalian, but they were score v one But none of them have beaten Ryu K's accuracy or even Rafa's accuracy. Another thing to note is that before those six FC'd, Okinamo FC'd, but in a special way. He FC'd with Hidden. He got just lower accuracy than Rafis, getting 98.95, but due to him putting on Hidden, the play is number one on the map's leaderboard. Before we end off the video, I want to take a quick look at some hard rock scores, since there were a couple. Ryu K has a 1500 combo reverse choke on Everything Will Freeze with Hard Rock. Rectagon has a 3 miss hard rock play on Everything Will Freeze, but only getting 547 combo. And in typical Cookie Z fashion, he is the only hidden hard rock pass, getting 98.89% accuracy, 1613 oh combo, and only 1 miss, earning him 831 PP. 
And that is where Everything Will Freeze stands today. What started as a half-time filled leaderboard where only the best of the best could even pass and achieve top 50 nomad, is now a map where not a single halftime score is to be seen on the top 50 leaderboard. It shows the progression of the general player base, the rising of new legends, and the utter dominance of Cookie Z, the best player this game's ever seen.